I think we're going to continue to see uh, cardholder data fraud uh, throughout the uh, the ecosystem. You know, we had uh, the big push for EMV. We had a deadline of 2017. Visa's now moved that out to 2020. Um, and uh, quite honestly, we're, we have just conditioned uh, consumers who just walk in and swipe all the time, right? So mm-hmm. um, we were hoping to reduce the amount of fraud we'd see on cardholder data, at least squeeze the balloon. We knew that when we got it off of the card present transactions, we'd see more on the card not present, but you know, that would still be less than the card present fraud. Um, but, you know, the challenge is, as you all know, you go into an environment that's taking chip and swipe, and everybody swipes first. So we've, you know, mm-hmm. still seen fraud on chip-enabled transactions because the consumer goes in and swipes and said, oh, no, it's, I've got a dip, and then dips. But if there's malware on that reader, then they've already captured the cardholder data, and you've got that correlation between the chip-enabled transaction and the fraud. So, I, we've got to get to one solution. We've got to get it cleaned up. And, and I'm surprised still that I go into major retailers, uh, franchise environments, then they're still not chip enabled yet. Mm-hmm. So uh, we'll continue to see uh, cardholder data fraud in the card present environment uh, before it trickles completely over to the card not present. All right. In the meantime, dip your chip first. Dip your chip, please. <laughs> Don't double dip. <laughs> Don't double dip. <laughs> and uh, only swipe upon request. 